Hi, boys and girls. I brought a friend today. This is my kitty, Maisie. She's a little bashful here. She's stuck to my shirt. But Maisie is my pet. Today, we are going to read some little poems and stories about pets. Okay, Maisie. You can go about to hit the ground so I can read to the boys and girls. I love my kitty, and I bet if you have pets, you like your kitty too. You love your kitties or your puppies or whatever your pets may be. This, we're gonna read parts of, of this book. It's, it's a, a magazine type thing, and it's called All About Animal Friends. And what do we call our animal friends? We call them our pets, sure. All about animal friends. And some of the things we're gonna read are actually poems. And poems are not really stories, they're just little short thoughts. Some of them may be a little longer. But poems have a lot of rhyming words, so when we get to the poem, we'll find the rhyming words. This one, the first one, is called Tricky Turtle by Jeannie Barrett Hargett, illustrated by Jim Bernardian. What do you think the poem's gonna be about? A turtle, sure. Can a, a turtle be a pet? I have some friends that have a couple turtles for pets. Listen, a tricky turtle knows so well, he's safe beneath his strong hard shell. For when he tucks himself in bed, he covers up his feet and head. And though I knock, in bed he'll stay until he thinks I've gone away. Cute little poem. Let's find the rhyming words. We have uh, the first line says they, let's, we'll read the poem again and find them as we go this time. A tricky turtle knows so well, he's safe beneath his strong hard shell, sure, well shell. For when he tucks himself in bed, he covers up his feet and head, bed, head. And though I knock in bed, he'll stay until he thinks I've gone away. Good, good, good. All right, I'm gonna show you this little page. And this is a little activity for us to do. I want you to look at the page and where do you think they, these boys and girls are? They're, they're out and they're in a store. What kind of store do you think it would be? Sure, they're in a pet store, a pet shop. Look at the pictures and tell me how many animals are in this pet shop. Let me open it up this way. It might make it a little easier. I don't know. How many animals are in the pet shop? Let's count them. See if you were right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So if you had 10, you counted them correctly. Now I'm going to ask you this. How many different kinds of pets are in this picture? Pets aren't all the same. Are dogs and cats the same? No. Look at the different kinds of pets. I'll give you a little bit to look at it. All right, let's see if we can find them. We have cats, that's one. A lizard, two. Fish, 
three guinea pigs, four, a dog, five, and wait a minute, I think I missed, oh, I missed the cats. There are three cats in the picture. So we have six different kinds of pets in this picture. What makes an animal a pet? What makes an animal a pet? Well, if you said you take it home and you keep it at your house and you feed it and you brush it, maybe take it for a walk, you cuddle it and love it and you're nice to it, that makes it a pet. You take care of it. All right, I'm going to read a little story. It's called Tiana's New Pet by Nancy Vile, Valle, sorry, I said that wrong. Let's try it again. By Nancy, I believe it's pronounced Vio. illustrated by Paige O'Rourke. All right, Tiana and Mama went to the pet store. Tiana pulled Mama over to, the, to a black dog in a cage. Let's get this dog, said Tiana. Achoo, said Mama. This dog makes me sneeze. Tiana ran to a white cat in another cage. Let's get this cat, said Tiana. This cat makes you sneeze, said Mama. Tiana saw an animal with floppy ears and a furry tail. Let's get the rabbit, said Tiana. What do you think? Do you think that rabbit's going to make either one of them sneeze? Let's get closer, said Mama. Tiana and Mama touched the rabbit. No sneezes. Thank you, Mama, said Tiana. The rabbit will be my new pet. Why did Mama and Tiana sneeze? Mama sneezed when she got close to the dog, and Tiana sneezed when she got close to the cat. Why? They are allergic to the pets. Now, when you have allergies, some people have them bad, some not as bad. And sometimes kitties, it's called dander. It's stuff that you can't see, but it's, it's stuff that gets in the air when you pet a cat. And it makes your eyes itch and your nose run. That's called pet dander or cat dander. Sometimes you might be allergic to the dog's fur. So some people are allergic to cats and dogs and can't have them in their homes. But other people get along just fine with them. I have a really cute little, it's called A Silly Little Yarn, A Silly Yarn by Eileen Spinelli. Now, this is a tiny little poem, a little short one, and it says, Long ago, there was a cat who swallowed a ball of yarn. And when the cat had kittens, they all had sweaters on. Hmm. Do you think that a kitten is born with a sweater on? No, that would be silly. But sometimes... When it's cold outside, people that have little dogs and, and cats may put little sweaters or like a coat type thing on them. Why don't people and pets go to the same doctor? Think about that. Why don't people and pets go to the same doctor? Well, a pet doctor is called a 
vet or a veterinarian, if you remember that. We've talked about that from school. And so a veterinarian goes to school and learns to take care of pets because their bodies are different than ours. A medical doctor takes care of people. So they, they could maybe help a person or help a, an animal if they were not the proper doctor, but to get the best care, pets go to a vet or veterinarian and we go to a doctor. I have one more little poem to read, and it's called, It's Time to Feed My Cat, by Pat Lessie, illustrated by Debbie Palin. I'll show you the picture, and then I'll read and show you again, and we'll find the rhyming words. It's morning, and I'm still in bed. My cat is waiting to be fed. My cat tells me it's time to eat by sitting down right on my feet. I tell her, cat, get off me, please. She moves, but sits down on my knees. I tell her, cat, you are a pest. She moves to lie down on my chest. Her tongue is rough, she licks my chin. I say, I'll get up, cat, you win. She eats her food, I pet her fur, I hold my cat, she starts to purr. When does a kitty purr? A kitty purrs when they're happy and content. And this kitty got pet, or got fed, and then he held her and he loved her. When I hold my cat, she purrs. She likes to purr. Let's look at the rhyming words. Bed rhymes with bed. Good. Eat rhymes with feet. Good. Please rhymes with knees. Pest. Rhymes with ch ch chest, this part of her body up here. Uh, chin rhymes with win, and fur rhymes with purr. Little poems often, or mostly actually, have little words at the end, usually. And when you have, they call it a stanza, the words rhyme in the stanza. They have usually some words rhyming at the end of the stanza. So poems are another type of reading we can do. All right, friends. Have a good day. I hope you like this. We'll do some more out of this book at another time. Bye.